Me, Mel Camp, I think he's, she's found the spot for me because it's air conditioned. Yeah, it's called Drop Shots. <laughs> it's a brand new indoor pickleball spot in Greater Heights located in the historic Houston Farmers Market. That's where Mel is trying for the very first time. Mel, we are so proud. You're going to love it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited for it. Tessa, you and me will have to go play. And we maybe we'll wait a bit before, we'll get a bit of training in before we take on Derek because I know he's good at playing pickleball. But check this out. Look at these awesome people playing right now. Um, it is so epic. And see the light blue area of the court? That is the kitchen. And that's what Kitchen got his name from. And I only know that because of Sean Outlaw, who is one of three people who have set up this amazing space. Hey, Sean, thanks so much for having us. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. So this is cool drop shot. Yeah. Where did the idea come from? So uh, we've been in the bar business for a long time, the three of us. And when pickleball started picking up, we decided we want to do this venture together. And so we're really excited about it. I've been playing pickleball for about two years. So it's been kind of a, pro a passion project for me, and I'm really excited about it. Why do so many people love pickleball? Because, I mean, I never play. I mean, Everyone is playing. It's a hugely fastest growing sport in America. But I think it's because it's, it's just a lot of fun to play. And we say it's like tennis, but it's actually fun. That's what we say. Shh, don't say that to the tennis people. They'll be like, oh, come on. Is it easier than tennis? Uh, it's easier to learn, I would say. Okay. Is Hard that, to master. That's good for me. Yeah. And you have one of your coaches here who'll be Absolutely, some tips. we do. Okay, we do have some tips for me coming up very soon on Houston Life. But I do want to say, this is right now, this is the very beginning for drop shots. As you see, you've got a stack of courts here. Like, explain what we're looking at. And so we've got six indoor courts. Uh, currently right now, this is just the first phase of our project, and then we're going to be opening up a uh, project next door as well. And you've got some great fans, like, blowing some awesome wind for us right now, but this is going to be fully air-conditioned. And then if we pop out here, doesn't look like much right now, but this is a huge space behind you, and that's going to be the patio bar. So that, what I'm excited about this, this is be a 3,000 square foot covered patio. We'll have a bar out here. And then next door to here, we'll also have a 4,000 square foot indoor uh, area. We'll have a pro shop. We'll have a check-in station. We're going to have a juice bar. We're going to take local produce from the farmer's market and bottle our own juices and use those for our cocktails as well. Oh my so we're really gosh. excited about that. This is epic. And then, of course, you can just come here and play your pickleball, which is what's going on in here. I'm very excited to play. Um, do you think I'm pretty uncoordinated? I think sure. you're going to pick it up. Be all right? I think you'll be fine. Wait, I'm going to pick up pickleball really easily. <laughs> I think so. Well, this is just such an epic thing. I mean, it's going to be so much fun here. Look at these guys. They are playing like absolute legends. I don't know if I'm going to be as good as this for quite some time, but I'm absolutely going to give it a shot. Derek and Tessa, I'm sending it back to you. I'm going to go find myself. Is it called a bat? Huh? Is it a bat or a rat? Paddle. Paddle. A paddle. Yep. Okay, I'm going to find myself a paddle. you got to start somewhere, and I'm going to give this game a shot, okay? So you'll have to check back in with me, all right? <laughs> okay, Mel Camp, you're going to love it. Just be sure that you stay out of the kitchen because the ball has, has to bounce, bounce. You can't be standing in the kitchen when you hit it. I'm never in the kitchen, so it's perfect. Very, okay, good. All right. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Mel Camp, thank you so much. And Tessa, we're going to have to play okay. sometime. Yeah, no, I'm ready. Look how ready I am. You're very good. Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, you can bounce or or not. We okay. Just, we need an okay. actual net now. I'm not even here. Look here we that. go. I'm here. You're a natural. Yes. A little pro. Yeah, no, it's just like tennis. It, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like <laughs> ping pong and tennis combined. Uh, it went uh, under. It went under the net. Jeremy Vaughn, it was that... It was a really bad serve. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeremy, you're one of the instructors here. Yes. This is a fun game. You say it's easy to play, but... But hard to master. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a long way off mastering this game. But it was... It did start in, like, what, D Washington, D.C.? For kids? It was a kid's Somewhere, game? yeah, in Washington, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. So it was designed for kids, but it's got more, a lot more complicated. Yes. As an instructor, when people come here and they've never played the game before, what do you tell them for getting started? Mostly just uh, just have fun, practice, and just be consistent. Okay. It's, yeah. Now, I've got to say, we had a bit of a rally going, and I did okay. But there's a few rules with the game. So walk us through it. If I'm first time you're playing, mm -hmm. you're serving. There's a bit of a rule with a serve is, like, you yes. don't want it to go higher than your belly button, right? Yeah, so you want to make contact with the ball yep. below your waist. Okay, so watch me serve. Drop it. There you Look go. At, see, you are good at what you do, Jeremy. Like, I think I'm getting there. All right, so yes. that's the thing. So is height an advantage because 
You think it might be, but then also lower people, you're going to have to bend more if you're high, right? Yeah, so, you know, the higher your waist is, the more you can serve contact from higher. So that'll give you a little bit more power and slash more advantage. Yeah? yeah? Okay, awesome. And then what's some other things that people need to know? Because, I mean, I've got to say, I get it now. It's really simple, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. But like you say, it's hard to master. Yeah, very hard to master. And um, just be really consistent and drill. If you're planning to be a competitive player, I'll say drill and practice a lot more than you would play rec games. Okay, which is what these guys are doing, and they're so awesome. I mean, these yes. players are fantastic. Now, you have leagues, you have lessons here at Drop Shots, you have leagues. Yes. Right? Yes, L leagues, lesson, we're gonna have clinics, drills, everything, and camps for kids and you want to learn if your kids want to learn this is a great place to start it's super yes. awesome i think we should get a rally going all right you serve because my serving is not <laughs> so good so you serve we're yes. going to get a bit of a rally going. all right but this is an awesome fun game and jeremy i do want to say what are you doing for national pickleball day tomorrow probably play pickleball <laughs> A lot of pickleball. He's playing pickleball tomorrow for National Pickleball Day. I am going to get, let's see, cross fingers for me. Um, I want to say, Tessa, I think we can do it. We can beat Derek at this game. And Derek, I think, oh, look, I'm talking a big game, but I'm about to get a serve. Be gentle. Be gentle with me. Okay, let's do this. Derek, I think I can take you on. Let's just see. Let's Mel, just see. Mel, challenge right, let's do this. accepted. Right. Challenge accepted. You're doing a great oh. job. Inside the line. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the in, kitchen. Okay. Inside yeah, the lines, I think I think going. her and, and my powers combined, <laughs> oh, we might be able to I face know. you and give you a, a real challenge, a real run for your money. Maybe, maybe so. No, no arguing with a ref, Mel. That's really good. <laughs> That's awesome.